its people overcame Roman occupation in 106, and the great earthquake of 363, and remained here at least to the late 6th century, much longer than previously thought. So what was the key to their resilience? It would seem that Petra thrived, thanks to the Nabataean skill in managing the scarce resource of water. The Nabataean storage and irrigation system was an incredible marvel of engineering, a complex network of cisterns, dams, and channels, harnessed water from desert springs and its four inches of annual rainfall to maintain a year-round water supply. Petra is located in one of the most inhospitable and difficult regions to place a city that I've ever encountered. At its height, this city is believed to have housed 30,000 people, with native water resources sufficient for maybe two to 3,000 people. And it's a testament to the resilience of the Nabataeans and their ingenuity that they could modify the landscape to meet their needs. We'd be hard pressed in the 21st century to be able to create a city that was sustainable and live very well. Geoscientist Dr. Tom Paradise has spent 25 years studying this intricate system, which all started at the hilltops. Dozens of reservoirs dotting the landscape around the city captured and stored every last drop of winter rain. The highest place in the area, in the valley, we have a cistern that was able to collect water from the whole summit area. It was this successful in holding water that we can see how high and rich the water was that was being collected. Water then flowed down into the city through a massive crisscross of channels. These terracotta pipes would have been covered, tubed, and connected all the way down. These are very, very much like the exact same terracotta pipes we use across the planet 2,000 years later. And we have more than 100 miles of these channels throughout Petra, where the water would have been fed into the city very, very slowly, stored again in a series of cisterns. Also, if you notice that they're not very steeply angled, it's a very gentle angle. If it's too steep, the water would rush through too quickly and back up. And if it's too flat, the delivery of the water into the very cisterns would be too slow. Archaeological investigation has revealed the system provided Petra with a stunning 12 million gallons of water per day, answering all of its domestic and agricultural needs. There was even enough water for a 140-foot public swimming pool in the Royal Gardens, an unparalleled luxury in the middle of a desert. Oh, yeah, we're looking at 2,000-year-old um, engineering feat that is nothing short of brilliant.